So guys, on this video, I'm talking about the four big lies they tell you about pig farming. You know, there are so many lies that people say or tell about pig farming. And if you're not someone who has done pig farming, practically, you may not be able to know that these things are lies and you easily be carried away by them. So in this video, I'll be dissecting all these lies. So keep watching. One of the first lies they tell you about pig farming is that pig farming is a get rich quick business. That if you start pig farming today, that in the next few months you are going to be rich. Well, there is a level of lie to this. Well, pig farming is profitable. That's the truth. If you do it very well, if you know what you are doing, pig farming is profitable just like most other businesses. But it doesn't give you money as quickly as our social media pig experts say it gives. For example, if you buy pigs today, if you buy pigs today, um, it will take at least, let's say you, you buy mature pigs, it will take at least, it will take at least um, six months for those pigs to produce the next set of pigs that's to farrow and you know pigs farrow at about four months of taking in approximately four months of taking in so those who say that pigs will give you money lately what they mean is it that okay you sell the kids and get money i don't think so because for you to be able to make money from pig farming you have to start later or if you have the capital you have to start in a very big way and then from there you can be able to you know your pigs will multiply and that is how you start making money and pigs multiplication takes at least two years for you to get to that stage where you can start selling your pigs and you can start making your money so that is basically it so pig farming is not this kind of business that you can start today and start selling today pig farming actually takes time it takes a lot of time and if you're not patient enough to wait for you know your pigs to start growing and for them to start multiplying then it will be hard for you to be able to make the actual profit in pig farming because you can't buy one pig today and sell that one pig tomorrow you have to allow that pig to take in that's to be served then to carry the pregnancy for about three months three for whatever four months approximately and then they can start giving birth and when they give birth they have to spend at least six weeks winning before those piglets and win and then before you can now start giving them food and those ones will also start multiplying so it takes time and it's a process that you have to you just have to follow else you will see yourself going backwards in, in pig farming so pig farming is a, is a is a different kind of business in fact livestock in, in general is a whole different kind of business in a traditional business you buy you sell you make your profit but here you have to exercise some patience you have to exercise, you know, some time before you can start selling and making your profit. So the pig farming is not a business that you can just dive in and say that you want to become a full-time farmer without any, any other source of income. Because for the first few months or for the first one year or for the first two years, you are going to be putting and not taking out from your business. So that's why I always advise people, if you want to start pig farming, make sure that you have something else that is giving you money. So you can be able to be pumping into your pig farm at least for that first two years before you can, before you can balance yourself out and start making your money. So that's it's as simple as that. Now, another lie people say, another lie people tell about pig farming is that pig farming is meant for dirty people. There are some people who say that pig farming is just for dirty people. As you can see, I'm not dirty. I'm wearing a very, okay, let me not say expensive, but I'm wearing a, a very nice shirt. So how do I look dirty? I'm not dirty, but I'm a pig farmer. And I've been a pig farmer for, for many years. For many years. So there is nothing about equating. In fact, for me, it's kind of foolish to equate a pig farmer to someone who is dirty. It doesn't make sense. This is a business. And if you have enough capital, you can even st structure your farm in such a way that you don't even need to do anything. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to get your hands dirty. Let's say you have enough money to invest. You don't have to do the, the practical work. All you have to do is have the basic knowledge 
and employ people who will do the whole thing for you. Even if you are someone who doesn't, who can't afford to employ people to do the, to do the farming for you, you can simply. In the, okay, so for some people, I know how they do their own pig farming. They basically come in the morning, clean their pig pens, feed the animals, log their farm, go back to their house, bait, and go to wherever they want to go. And if you see, the, if you see these people on the road, you won't even know that they are pig farmers because they dress well, they smell nice, they appear civilized, they basically appear, appear good. So there is nothing, it's kind of, it basically doesn't make any sense to equate a pig farmer to someone who is dead. It basically makes no sense. So when you hear that phrase that pig farm is only meant for dead people, rem just remember me. Remember me that I'm not dead. I'm not dead. So pig farming is not meant for dead, dead people. In fact, even if you're, de even if you're a dead person, pig farming, pig farming will make it to become meat. Why? Because after doing the work in your pig farm, you will be forced to bath. You'll be, sorry, you'll be forced to take your bath. And speaking Igbo English, bath, but bait is the actual thing I wanted to say. So you will be forced to bait because pig farming will make you to bait, and, and from there you become meat. So even if a, a dirty person, pig farming will force you to become meat. So you have, so there is nothing, it basically makes no sense to equate a pig farmer to someone who is dirty. Now, the next lie people say about pig farming is that people don't eat pork. People actually consume pork. There is now, in fact, if people back, if five years back, people used to eat like 100 kg of pork meat in Nigeria. I'm just saying for instance, because it's obviously more than 100 kg by far in metric tons. But let's say that if five years back, people were eating about 100 kg of pork. Right now in Nigeria, just know that people are eating about 1,000 kg of pork, that's times 10. At least from my own observation. Other people might have different opinions about this, but I believe that the pork consumption is going higher by the year. Because personally, I now see more people eating pork on the road. Because most people that consume pork consume the one that is roasted on the road. So I now see more people consuming pork. So, which basically means that the consumption is rising. I know that with the rate of population in Nigeria, one thing people have to know is that protein, anything protein, whether it be beef, goat, goat meat, or lamb meat, or rabbit, or bush meat, anyone, just know that the consumption is increasing because Nigerians are getting higher in number. Our population is increasing and our population is more of youth according to a statistics i saw somewhere about 60 percent of nigerian population is below are below 30 years of age i, I know that majority of the young people don't care about all this don't eat red meat red meat is not good for you they don't care about this they basically want to eat meat unlike the older generation who basically have to avoid some of these things due to health issues but the younger generation have to consume meat, have to consume protein. So the livestock market in Nigeria is getting bigger, is getting higher. And the demand is not even being met. So pig farming has the demand because more people are eating pork. But mind you, this should not be a reason why you should go and start your own pig farm because You've heard that, oh, the people are eating pork, people are eating pork, you're not going to open your own pig farm. Even if there is a demand for it, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to basically not make profit from it. So you have to know what you're doing in pig farming. You have to get the necessary information. You have to get the necessary knowledge. In fact, only someone who is setting himself up for failure will get into a business that he doesn't know anything about. You have to make your researches. And even if after making your own researches, you have to get into that business and do it for some time before you actually get used to how the business is being done. Because there are some things that I'll stay here because personally, I like being honest with people around me. There are, some, there are certain things I'll, I'll say here that even if you use them to start your own big farm, you may not be able to do it very well. 
because the real thing, the real deal is in the practice, is in the practical aspect of pig farming. You can read all the books you want to read in the world, you can watch all the videos you want to watch about pig farming, but until you start practicing it, you never get, you never like, you, you never gain any substantial knowledge about it because all these things you see here are practical knowledge, are basically practical, everything. Everything is all about practical. So currently here, this section, like this section there, this is a 500 capacity peak section. We also have another section over there. So these things are all out of practicality. You have to practice it before you can scale. That's why I always advise people. Before you start scaling your anything peak farm, make sure you have the right knowledge or make sure you have those who have the right knowledge working for you. That's why I always emphasize on hiring a farm manager who knows that's if you have a big farm hiring a farm manager who knows what pig farming is all about you can't be a, a novice you can't have little knowledge about pig farming and you can also hire a manager who knows nothing or workers who know nothing about pig farming yes you are allowed to hire workers who know nothing about pig farming but except you know how to teach your workers everything about pig farming then you should hire a manager who can teach them and who can supervise them as yeah, simple as that. The fourth misconception about, or the fourth big lie, or the fourth lie people say about pig farming, or tell about pig farming, is that pigs are dangerous animals. Well, pigs are not dangerous animals. These are all made up assumptions about pigs, that pigs are dangerous animals, but they are not. Actually, pigs are some of the friendliest animals. Mm, this side is a little bit dark. Pigs are amongst the most friendly animals you'll ever meet. That is basically the truth. <laughs> they they don't run. So pigs are very friendly animals. Mm, pardon here, this side is a little bit dark. Hello, hello my friend, come. So, is this pig dangerous? It's not. Come, 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 come. How are you? How are you? So, this is basically like to show you guys that pigs are not dangerous. They are not as dangerous as people say they are. As you can see, these are all pigs. They are not dangerous. The only thing is that pigs are a little bit wide. They are kind of wide. Some are wide, not all of them, but it all depends on the genetics of the pigs. Because I've met certain pigs that are basically terrorists. Like they are basically terrorists. So I've actually met some pigs that are very, very, very playful. And there are some that are very, very wild. Now, by, by saying wild, I don't mean that they are dangerous. I just mean that they basically are stubborn. They are basically aggressive. You know, this is pigs. They have, just like in, in human beings, pig, in pigs too, you, you will see pigs with different traits. There are some that are calm. There are some that are friendly. There are some that are aggressive. There are some that are basically troublemakers. Like, there are some pigs that, all the, there are some pigs on this, on this farm that all they do from morning to night is to, is to destroy things. They will hit the wall they will hit the doors until those walls have cracks, until the doors have have broken. There are some pigs like that on this farm, especially the big ones. And there are also some pigs that basically have no problem. They will eat, sleep, relax, get big, and they basically have no issues. And there are some that are just, just troublemakers. They are ready to jump from one pen to another. Because of some pigs, I even had to like raise some of my pens to prevent them from jumping because that is basically in their nature. Pigs basically have different characteristics. So from what I've said now, I think it's obvious that pigs are not dangerous animals. These things are just misconceptions. But mind you, if you don't have much knowledge about pigs, don't go near them anyhow, because you might meet the one that is very aggressive. Now, a pig may not bite you at all because of because it is in their nature to bite you they may just bite you because of aggression because you did something at, at, a, at that moment which made them aggressive 
but normally pigs don't have any problem they don't bite people except you give something to them or probably you scared them or you were aggressive to them and you just retaliated and, and they will bite you but mind you pigs have no issues they are basically cruel friendly animals who basically love to eat pigs their hobby is to eat eat and eat and get fat that's basically it so these are basically the four big lies they tell about pig farming and um, that's basically it so if you're someone who is about to start your pig farm i think that getting the right knowledge is actually important especially the practical knowledge is actually important because it will help you in the long run so that's basically it um see you guys in the next video and also check out my my ebook if you are someone who is about to start your pig farm that ebook contains basically the basics of pig farming is a guide for beginners uh, and i think it will help you at least get st started but mind you the real deal is actually the practical aspect even if you like read as many books watch as many videos as possible but the real thing that will help in pig farming is practicing it so that's basically today's video see you guys in the next video thank you and see you